Hi there, I'm Jeremy Krug, and I'm going to work free response question number four on the 2023 AP Chemistry exam. This is a short problem, and it's worth a total of four points out of the total 46 on the free response section. Just so you know, I'm recording this video on May the 3rd, 2023, and the official answer key has not been released yet, so I'm doing my best to share what I think the correct answers are. Just a disclaimer, I do not work for College Board. I'm just a chemistry teacher who's been teaching AP for 23 years, and sometimes I make a mistake. And remember that any answer that is chemically and factually correct will be accepted by the AP readers, even if it doesn't match what's on their key. So with that in mind, here's question four. Question four starts by asking us about a buffer solution that's made with uh, what looks to be methylamine and then the conjugate acid of the methylamine. It tells us that we have uh, 25 milliliters of the base, it gives us the concentration, and it even tells us how many moles it has. So part A just says calculate the mass of the uh, compound here that contains 0 0.00250 moles of that compound. So all we have to do is take the 0 0.00250 moles of the compound and convert it to grams. So that means one mole on the bottom. And when you add this up, I get 67.52 grams in a mole of that. We cancel out moles, and I get an answer of 0.169 grams of the conjugate acid com compound. So that's our answer. So give yourself one point for that. Now, part B is a laboratory question. And it tells us that we're going to actually create the buffer, and we have several different types of materials available. And it's being, or th this question is asking, how do you actually go about making the buffer solution? And uh, step one, what do you do before you place the solid in the 50 milliliter beaker? Well, notice that we have the solid uh, conjugate acid compound there. Uh, so somehow we have to, to weigh out the correct amount. And so step one, I believe, involves us uh, having to actually do the process of weighing that out. And so this is, what I, I, this is what I would put. To place the weighing paper, and that's part of this, on the electronic balance, and we have an electronic balance, you'd re-zero the balance, then carefully use the small spatula that's given to us here to dispense precisely 0.169 grams of the compound onto the weighing paper. So that's the idea there. Um, and, you know, I know that if you are an analytical chemist, you may not do this. There, some folks have a little problem with the spatula and, and the rezeroing, but for AP chemistry, I, I think that this would work for your step one. Now, step two, you take that solid, place it in the beaker. Step three, you clean the burette and rinse it out with distilled water. And what do you do next? What do you do before you actually use the burette to add the, the 25 mils of the solution to the beaker? Well, somehow you have to add the uh, compound, that solution, uh, the methylamine solution, to the burette. And so here's how I would phrase that. Uh, whenever you use a burette to dispense something, you always want to coat the inside of that burette with the solution it's going to contain. So that's why I would say rinse the burette with a few milliliters of the methylamine solution, coating the inside of the burette with the solution. Then you want to fill the burette um, you know, more than halfway because this is a 50 mil burette and you want to get 25 mils in there. So you don't have to fill it up all the way, but certainly more than halfway. Uh, and, and I think that would work for step four. And then you have the rest of the process there. So if you had something like that, I would say yeah, give yourself one point for each of those. On the last part of the question, we have a different buffer solution. And notice that it's different from the first one. Instead of the original 0.1 molar methylamine, the student uses half of that concentration, 0.05 molar. And the acid, the, the conjugate acid concentration, or I should say the, 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 the conjugate acid mass is half what it was before. So that tells me that the concentration of the base is half what it was before. The concentration of the conjugate acid is going to be uh, half what it was before. So 
that tells me that both the weak acid and conjugate base concentrations are cut exactly in half. And according to the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, if the ratio of the conjugate base to the conjugate acid does not change, then guess what? The pH does not change either. The pH is equal to the pKa plus the log of that ratio. So the pH, if my calculations are right, should be equal to the pH for the original buffer solution. So if you got that, then give yourself a point. That was question four. It was a short one, but there were some tough ones on there. I hope you did well. If you could hit that like button, it will help get the word out about my videos to the AP Chem community. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.